Hello and welcome. I'm making a quick video to try to explain uh, the process with using Microsoft Word bilingual export and import in WordFast Pro since I've noticed uh, some users have uh, difficulties with it. So basically, this is something that will happen in Quick Tools, where I am at the moment. And you see that you have a section called bilingual expert and you have a section called bilingual import. Okay. And what we'll be referring to is when you want to export a Microsoft Word document that matches a TXLF that you have from, uh, from a document that uh, you put into WordFast Pro for translation. And what you want to do when you are uh, using this bilingual export option, you want to uh, use the bilingual review expert. Okay, so I'm not looking at the other options here. I'm only looking at bilingual review expert. Okay, so to get the bilingual review export, the easiest way is to do it from your current project view. So let's first look at what my document is. So I'm working on this Word document. Okay, the source is a docx. And my TXLF is this, okay? So I have absolutely translated nothing so far. So let's close that for a second. And now in my current project view, I want to select this file. And now I click on bilingual export. And this is very important. I need to keep track of where I am putting things. So I will now uh, create a folder, a bilingual expert for review. Okay. And I will put my file in there. And now if I open uh, this uh, folder that I have created on my desktop, I see I have two files. One is the bilingual report, okay, which is an HTML. And the other one is my document to review. So if I open it, I can see it is a Microsoft Word document. And there are instructions here. So whoever is reviewing the translation or doing the translation from scratch when you're sending it empty, needs to read these instructions and adhere to them closely. And basically the idea is to work in that document and not mess anything. So to make sure we understand how this works, let's look at what uh, Quick Tool says. So if I go back in Quick Tools, okay, in my bilingual expert section, I see that I need to use a TXLF. And this will help me create a bilingual review expert. Okay. And once I've done that, and I've sort of skipped this step because I did it from the project view, which is a, a lot simpler. When I do it from the current project view, my TXLF is already selected here. And I asked it to create the bilingual expert. So that skips a step for me, but that's the same happening. WordFast is using the TXLF to create the Word document. And this is important to understand that because you absolutely need to adhere to uh, this way. Otherwise, it won't work. So now let me close this uh, document. Okay, so let's say now I am going uh, to copy this document and I'm going to create a new folder to translator. Okay. And I'm pasting it here and I am sending it to my translator. Now, after a while, my translator sends me the document. So let me create a folder, create a uh, name back from translator. And I will put in there the document that the translator sent me. So now that I got it back from my translator, let's look at what's in it. So it came back with track changes and my translator did a rubbish job 
because <laughs> it did just one word for each segment. But that's okay because that will just demonstrate what we are trying to do. Now, to be able to send it back into WordFast Pro, I need the original TXLF. So let's go get that. So here I am. This is the file we are working on that is still empty. So let's make a right click, open location, open location again. And now this is taking me to the proper TXLF. So let's copy it. And now we come back to our folder and in the section back from translator, I am pasting the TXLF. Okay, now I am ready to go back to WordFast Pro. Now I go to Quick Tools and I select Bilingual Import. Okay, I need to add here the document that my translator sent back to me. Okay, so the one that is translated. So I follow it here back from translator and I can see it. And if you look at this section here, it only accepts Word document. Okay, so this is where the Word document goes. Open. Okay, now very important to read in the bilingual import option. Okay, TXLF files location. And this is the original that we copied. So let's browse and we go back to where we put the TXLF. Okay, you see, we don't see anything. It just needs to know where it is. We know that's where we put it. So we select this folder. Okay, so click on select folder. And now I am ready to click on import bilingual files. Now I get an HTML report. Okay. And I see that it has worked. Okay. Files read successfully one files updated successfully one. Okay. The targets have been changed. So let's close that for a second. And if we go back to our back from translator folder, we see now that we have the merged TXLF. That is excellent. So what we do now is we go back to WordFast Pro. We go into our current project and now I'm going to navigate back to my folder where my translator sent me back the information. Okay. So the back from translator folder and I see here my TXLF uh, underscore merged. And now I'm just going to drag and drop it in here. Okay. Everything worked. So let's now open it. And here we go. We have here all the translated segments. So to make sure you do it right, uh, let's look at this diagram. So to sum it up, what comes out of your computer, you need a TXLF. Okay. And if you click to get your bilingual review expert, this bilingual review expert, you can make a copy or keep the same file and send it to your translator. Once you get that file, you keep it someplace safe. That is a different spot of the original. Okay. And you need to get a copy of the original TXLF. Once you've got both, you put them in the same folder and now you are ready to import that with quick tools in WordFast Pro. And that's what you will do in this section here, bilingual input. So I hope it helps you out. If it does, please leave a like and think about subscribing. Thank you very much. Bye bye.